da 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 Although Pete was eye candy and very stylishly dressed, he was unfortunately the most boring man Sally ever met. Hi guys, Jack here. This week is an idioms lesson. And I'm going to teach you the idiom, eye candy, which means something that is nice to look at, but has very little substance or use. This is a casual, informal phrase that has a negative meaning. And it's about someone or something that is very pleasing to the eye. This appeared sometime around the late 1970s and the 80s in the US. And it was first used to describe a beautiful woman who could be as sweet as candy, but wasn't very educated or very smart. Nowadays, you might hear this phrase used about things like cars or furniture or a machine or things like websites or movies or music videos things like that. Basically anything that is superficially very pretty to look at, but doesn't have very much substance and is actually really boring underneath its appearance. Let me give you a few more examples of how to use eye candy. The company website was pure eye candy because it was very pretty to look at, but nothing is interesting when you dig in deeper. She paid an excessive amount for these shoes, but they were eye candy only because they were so uncomfortable she couldn't walk in them. The movie was excellent eye candy, but I couldn't tell you who was in it or what it was about. Guys, I'm not done. I'm going to give you a bonus idiom to get bent out of shape. To get bent out of shape is for a person to become really angry. And the full meaning of the idiom is for someone to be angry or frustrated, but usually for not logical or inappropriate situations. Let me give you a couple of examples. Don't get all bent out of shape. I'm sure what she said wasn't trying to insult you. You should apologize to Phil before he gets bent out of shape. In these situations, someone might get mad at you for something you said, or you might get mad at someone for something they said, when really what they said doesn't have to be an insult. It wasn't meant to make you feel that way. You are misinterpreting what is said and you are responding in an emotional way that doesn't fit the situation. So someone might tell you, don't get bent out of shape. So your homework is to give me an example of eye candy or to get bent out of shape. And I'll give you bonus points if you can use these in the same sentence, just for fun. Anyway, I look forward to your comments. Bye.